The biosphere from Greek bios bios life and sphira sphira sphere also known as the ecosphere from Greek oikos oikos environment and sphira is the worldwide sum of all ecosystems it can also be termed the zone of life on earth a closed system apart from solar and cosmic radiation and heat from the interior of the earth and largely self-regulating by the most general biophysiological definition, the biosphere is the global ecological system integrating all living beings and their relationships, including their interaction with the elements of the lithosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. The biosphere is postulated to have evolved, beginning with a process of biopoiesis life created naturally from non-living matter, such as simple organic compounds or biogenesis life created from living matter, at least some 3.5 billion years ago. In a general sense, biospheres are any closed, self-regulating systems containing ecosystems. This includes artificial biospheres such as Biosphere 2 and Bios 3, and potentially ones on other planets or moons. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin and use of the term The term, biosphere was coined by geologist Eduard Zeus in 1875, which he defined as the place on Earth's surface where life dwells. While the concept has a geological origin, it is an indication of the effect of both Charles Darwin and Matthew F. Morey on the Earth sciences. The biosphere's ecological context comes from the 1920s see Vladimir I. Vernadsky, preceding the 1935 introduction of the term ecosystem by Sir Arthur Tansley see ecology history Vernadsky defined ecology as the science of the biosphere it is an interdisciplinary concept for integrating astronomy geophysics meteorology biogeography evolution geology geochemistry hydrology and generally speaking all life and earth sciences Topic. Narrow definition Geochemists define the biosphere as being the total sum of living organisms the biomass or biota as referred to by biologists and ecologists. In this sense, the biosphere is but one of four separate components of the geochemical model, the other three being geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. When these four component spheres are combined into one system, it is known as the ecosphere. This term was coined during the 1960s and encompasses both biological and physical components of the planet. The Second International Conference on Closed Life Systems defined biospherics as the science and technology of analogues and models of Earth's biosphere, i.e., artificial Earth like biospheres. Others may include the creation of artificial non-Earth biospheres, for example, human-centered biospheres or a native Martian biosphere, as part of the topic of biospherics. Topic: <laughs> Earth's biosphere. Topic: Age. The earliest evidence for life on Earth includes biogenic graphite found in 3.7 billion year old metasedimentary rocks from western Greenland and microbial mat fossils found in 3.48 billion year old sandstone from western Australia. More recently, in 2015, remains of biotic life were found in 4.1 billion year old rocks in western Australia. In 2017, putative fossilized microorganisms or microfossils were announced to have been discovered in hydrothermal vent precipitates in the Nouveau-Jituk belt of Quebec, Canada that were as old as 4.28 billion years, the oldest record of life on Earth, suggesting an almost instantaneous emergence of life. 
after ocean formation 4.4 billion years ago, and not long after the formation of the Earth 4.54 billion years ago. According to biologist Stephen Blair Hedges, if life arose relatively quickly on Earth, then it could be common in the universe. Topic. Extent Every part of the planet, from the polar ice caps to the equator, features life of some kind. Recent advances in microbiology have demonstrated that microbes live deep beneath the Earth's terrestrial surface, and that the total mass of microbial life in so-called uninhabitable zones may, in biomass, exceed all animal and plant life on the surface. The actual thickness of the biosphere on Earth is difficult to measure. Birds typically fly at altitudes as high as 1,800 meters 5 feet, 1 .1 miles, and fish live as much as 8,372 meters 27,467 feet, 5.202 miles underwater in the Puerto Rico Trench. There are more extreme examples for life on the planet. Ruppel's vulture has been found at altitudes of 11,300 meters 30 7,100 feet, 7.0 miles, bar-headed geese migrate at altitudes of at least 8,300 meters 27,200 feet, 5.2 miles, yaks live at elevations as high as 5,400 meters 17,700 feet, 3.4 miles above sea level, mountain goats live up to 3,050 meters 10,010 feet, 1.90 miles. Herbivorous animals at these elevations depend on lichens, grasses, and herbs. Life forms live in every part of the Earth's biosphere, including soil, hot springs, inside rocks at least 19 kilometers 12 miles deep underground, the deepest parts of the ocean, and at least 64 kilometers 40 miles high in the atmosphere. Microorganisms, under certain test conditions, have been observed to survive the vacuum of outer space. The total amount of soil and subsurface bacterial carbon is estimated as 5 times 1,017 grams, or the weight of the United Kingdom. The mass of prokaryote microorganisms, which includes bacteria and archaea, but not the nucleated eukaryote microorganisms, may be as much as 0.8 trillion tons of carbon of the total biosphere mass, estimated at between 1 and 4 trillion tons. Barophilic marine microbes have been found at more than a depth of 10,000 meters 33,000 feet, 6.2 miles in the Mariana Trench, the deepest spot in the Earth's oceans. In fact, single-celled life forms have been found in the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, by the Challenger Deep, at depths of 11,034 meters 36,201 feet, 6.856 miles. Other researchers reported related studies that microorganisms thrive inside rocks up to 580 meters (1900 feet, 0.36 miles) below the sea floor under 2590 meters (8500 feet, 1.61 miles) of ocean off the coast of the northwestern United States, as well as 2400 meters (7900 feet, 1.5 miles) beneath the sea bed off Japan, culturable thermophilic microbes have been extracted from cores drilled more than 5,000 meters 16,000 feet, 3.1 miles into the Earth's crust in Sweden, from rocks between 65 to 75 degrees Celsius 149 to 167 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature increases with increasing depth into the Earth's crust. The rate at which the temperature increases depends on many factors, including type of crust continental versus oceanic, rock type, geographic location, etc. The greatest known temperature at which microbial life can exist is 122 degrees Celsius 252 degrees Fahrenheit Methanopyrus candleri strain 116, and it is likely that the limit of life in the deep biosphere 
is defined by temperature rather than absolute depth. On 20 August 2014, scientists confirmed the existence of microorganisms living 800 meters 2,600 feet, 0.50 miles, below the ice of Antarctica. According to one researcher, "...you can find microbes everywhere. They're extremely adaptable to conditions, and survive wherever they are." Our biosphere is divided into a number of biomes, inhabited by fairly similar flora and fauna. On land, biomes are separated primarily by latitude. Terrestrial biomes lying within the Arctic and Antarctic circles are relatively barren of plant and animal life, while most of the more populous biomes lie near the equator. Annual variation Topic: <inaudible> Artificial biospheres Experimental biospheres, also called closed ecological systems, have been created to study ecosystems and the potential for supporting life outside the Earth. These include spacecraft and the following terrestrial laboratories Biosphere 2 in Arizona, United States, 3.15 acres 13,000 square meters. Bios 1, Bios 2 and Bios 3 at the Institute of Biophysics in Krasnoyarsk, Siberia, in what was then the Soviet Union. Biosphere J CEEF, Closed Ecology Experiment Facilities, an experiment in Japan. Microecological Life Support System Alternative Melissa at Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Extraterrestrial Biospheres. No biospheres have been detected beyond the Earth, therefore, the existence of extraterrestrial biospheres remains hypothetical. The rare Earth hypothesis suggests they should be very rare, save ones composed of microbial life only. On the other hand, Earth analogues may be quite numerous, at least in the Milky Way galaxy, given the large number of planets. Three of the planets discovered orbiting TRAPPIST-1 could possibly contain biospheres. Given limited understanding of abiogenesis, it is currently unknown what percentage of these planets actually develop biospheres. Based on observations by the Kepler Space Telescope team, it has been calculated that provided the probability of a biogenesis is higher than 1 to 1,000, the closest alien biosphere should be within 100 light years from the Earth. It is also possible that artificial biospheres will be created during the future, for example on Mars. The process of creating an uncontained system that mimics the function of Earth's biosphere is called terraforming. <laughs> See also